Connor, busy run of fixtures, a busy week after busy week after busy week. How's the body feeling? Yeah, not too bad. It's, um, look, it's been pretty relentless. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of away games, another one tomorrow night. Um, but look, I think if you ask any player, they'd rather have more games than more training sessions. So, um, you know, the more games that come our way, yes, it's more challenging on the squad. But as a player, you want to be involved in, in, in as many games as possible. So, um, you know, it's, it's been a busy time, but a, a brilliant time as well. We've heard from a couple of the boys about how they spend their time travelling, a lot of time together, a lot of time on the coach. How are you spending the time? Um, I, there's a few of us who play cards. I suppose that's not the best thing to say straight away, but <laughs> there's a few of us who play cards. And then um, there's a, uh, I, I'm doing a bit of coaching at the minute, so um, the couple of hours that I get then maybe back in the room, then I, I'm concentrating on that and um, looking at that uh, side of the game because um, it's something I'm very passionate about. So. Um, they're probably the two things that I do most. Is that something you've always wanted to do, coaching? Yeah, for that, I think over the last couple of years, probably since COVID, getting that little bit older, um, I started my badges, I've uh, completed the, the B licence, um, started my A licence in January. Um, it's something that uh, I want to definitely go into the, the, the more I get and when I retire, and something that I'm passionate about. So um, yeah, it's uh, slowly but surely set myself up for that. Is it? I know it's football based still, but it, but is it nice to have something to maybe take your mind away from from the day job? Yeah, it is a little bit. I suppose it's more just like I said, setting myself up. I think um, as I get older, I hear a lot of people say, you know, make sure you're ready when when you finish. I know, look, I'm only 31, I'm nearly 32, but you, I, I'm still one of them guys that I'm, I like to be really organised and ready for whatever I'm going to. And um, when I started my badges, I was. Um, I was probably a bit anxious and, and worried would I like it um, because it's something I never dipped my toe into um, before coaching side of it but I, I've absolutely loved it um, become a bit obsessed with it if I'm being totally honest with you but um, it's um, something that I'm excited for and just preparing for as the years go on We'll bring things back to sort of the playing side of things you've quietly put together a very good run at the moment haven't you? Yeah, we've done okay. I think um, there's been that change and shift from manager uh, managers, which isn't easy. Two different styles of play. It takes a little bit of time. We've had a lot of injuries, um, but I think I know the manager and, and the staff would like to maybe get on the training pitch a little bit more. But like you just said, the, the schedule is that intense that we haven't really had the chance. So we've maybe been suffering in games a little bit when the gaffer wants us to do certain things or whatever. But the more games have have come on, uh, and the more the lads know the ideas. Um, I think we're get going in going in the right direction. I think more uh, than getting worked on on the training pitch, it's more kind of analysing it in the classroom, um, and him letting us know what he wants a little bit more of, what we're doing well, and like I said, slowly but surely, I think uh, we're getting there. With, with your sort of coaching aspirations, do you look at the sessions that you do with the coaches in a slightly different way now? Yeah, a little bit. I've just started, um, I suppose, probably since this summer um, with, with Liam. Uh, and into Paul, kind of anything that I've liked, any training sessions that I've liked, um, any meeting that I've liked, I've kind of logged it so um, I can go back and look at it um, on, the, on the good things that I liked as a player and then um, hopefully one day if I become a coach or whatever I'd like to, um, the players hopefully like the things that I liked or, and, or whatever it may be. So I think logging things that I like as a player is important for, for future um, you know, reference because I think the brain can only take in so much. Um, you forget a lot of things, so I think logging it down is important. A test for you on, on Friday night away at Portsmouth. What are you expecting from it? Yeah, really tough game. Um, look, they're going well, of course. Um, they're just above us in the league. Um, you know, Fratton Park at any stage of the, the season is difficult. Obviously, Friday night, Sky under the lights is, is going to add that little bit more extra spice. So um, it's going to be a very good game. Um, like I said in the previous interview, there's no championship and premiership now at the minute. Everyone's waiting for the World Cup, so there'll be a few more eyes watching as well uh, with the only football that's on at the minute. So, um, no, it's going to be a really good one, um, one that would be enjoyable to play in and um, hopefully we'll come out on the top. And we were just talking uh, before about your, your previous visits to, to Fratton Park. We think there's only one and, and you had a decent day. Yeah, it was 3-3, bit of a mad game, last game of the season. Um, scored a couple, which, which is always nice. And Plymouth and, and Portsmouth that kind of had that, have that derby going on. Um, I think it's the Dockyard Derby, they call it. Um, and, you know, Plymouth being a big club in Portsmouth, obviously it was a sold out, um, really sunny day, which I don't think it's going to be tomorrow night. Um, but similar to, to Derby bringing down the, the big away following, selling out their way uh, and they'll probably sell out the home end, no doubt, and it just makes for a really good game.